definition we found a mark. And suppose if I give you this as a nervous tissue, section taken from a brain, okay. what are you seeing here? Red neuron. What are you seeing here at this magnification? Hemorrhage. Hemorrhage, good. Very good, what more? Bell area. Collagen. 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 Why collagen? What do you think? Why collagen? Brain, one of the structure is collagen there? In the yes, brain. there is collagen. How much? Uh, about via matter. Via yes. matter. Yes. This is inside of the brain. Yes. Our via matter has gone. Inside. Mm. Fluid. So, suppose if there is loss of blood supply. Yes. Or yes. CFT. Yes. What type of necrosis we get? Liquid. Liquefactive. Liquefactive means the structure is intact or structure is becomes liquid like. Liquid like. Liquid like. Are you seeing any structure? Any neuropil, any astrocyte, oligodendrocyte, neurons, clear? Let us go. Now this is the chart. We are seeing just hemorrhage. We are not seeing, we are seeing all, all these bluish areas. All these bluish areas, they are inflammatory cells. Yes. You know, inflammatory cells. What is the composition of pus? Neutrophils. So this is liquefactive. Okay. So this is at two power. Now we are going for four. Four. Huh? Yes, now we go four. for ten. Ten. Now you go for twenty. <laughs> what you <are saying? laughs> more, more, more clear. It's amazing. It's amazing. What you are saying? So what are all these cells? Uh, all these cells. Yes. All these cells. Plenty anywhere. Uh, inflammatory oh, cells. These are all leukos. These are neutrophils. Okay. Yes. These are all neutrophils. What about all these red? So this is liquefactive necrosis. Clear? Yes. So you want to see in microscope? Or no, no, this no, one. No, no, no. Same so findings. If I start seeing, uh, asking one by one to come and look into the microscope, it will be up to three o'clock. Yes, it's right. Yeah. This is this is an advanced technology. You must use. You must course. use it. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Even pathologists have stopped using uh, seeing microscope. They are also seeing here. Yes, sir. Right. Because yeah. their their necks are paining. <laughs> So this is about liquefactive necrosis. Okay? Clear? Yes. Anybody having doubt? No. Okay. Now we will see here <coughs> annotation. Relax, what the fuck? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be no. Can we not just? I need to take permission from Dr. Hamdan because it is uh, for the application for the Yeah, he has given for some demonstration. If it tells okay, yes, you can. Why yes, not? Please, please, please. I asked him, he said if the student gave positive feedback, okay. they will talk to the, those people who are yes. responsible for that to yeah. make it available to us. Yes, yeah. So it depends on your feedback. Huh? So here, what you are what you're seeing here? <laughs> this is the species human. Stain, hematoxalin, and neosin. Kill yes. yeah. Okay. Everything is given yes, here. So Magnification. Okay. Organ, you say soft tissue abscess. Here is brain. Okay. Yes. Diagnosis, liquefactive necrosis. Mm. What you are seeing? Sheets of neutrophils and cell debris and macrophages. Yes. Very good. Clear? Clear. Should we know the magnification? The exam 20 or. No, no, no. no. So here. Okay. Uh, you will choose a specific area and ask what, what, what we see or uh, any fully generalized question, what you see, like a uh, microphone like, like, like this. Any screenshot can be picked. Yes, but I mean, I mean you, you want to ask specific in this screenshot. What specific I will ask? Things no, this way, that's all. It's if I am showing in my uh, demonstration a particular arrow, then I will ask about that arrow. If yeah. I'm not showing, okay. just you have to write whatever you yeah, are yeah. seeing, just you need to write. Okay. <coughs> and usually same findings. Yeah, yeah same findings. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah.
Can you still give us an example? Or for something you might see here. Identify here. One minute. So the next one is the next one. Go for this. You have the camera here. Yeah. Right? I will take a screenshot of this. I will put some name. Okay. Okay. And it will take some time and it will appear. It is appearing here. Okay. This is a screenshot. This is this is shaped as a screenshot. Yes. Now you are seeing the screenshot. Yes. Now you are seeing the screenshot. Yes. 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 It should be similar here. Yes. But there is loss of neuronal substance. Right. Why? Infarct. Ischemia, infarction. Mm -hmm. Okay. What type of infarct it has? Liquid. Liquid. Liquid fatty is necrosis. But infarct. Infarct is cystic. Means cystic. loss of these neurons. It creates a space. Yes. This is what we are seeing here. A space is created. Cystic degeneration. Okay. Yes. So this is cystic infarct. Yes. Okay. And what you are seeing, these red ones, these are recent hemorrhages. Yes. Uh -huh. right. Red ones. Yes. Right. Suppose you might be seeing people, old with, uh, after 50, 60 years of age, you see their dots on their legs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? You mean uh, brown dots? Right. Yes, brown dots. Also in the hands. Yeah, hands also you get, but you, if you see... Why? Why? Why well in there? They no. are fully covered. Collagen. You think they are hemorrhage? Melanin, if you say, okay, sun exposure, you are thinking? Iron. Iron, why? Hemosynthesis. Yeah. Hemosynthesis, yes, except why? Because the hemorrhage after that. Yes. There is increased hydrostatic. The highest hydrostatic pressure yes. is in the legs. Mm. So they are, they are coming out. The, uh, the capillaries are being ruptured. Leaking. They are coming out, leaking out. They are ingested by macrophage. Mm -hmm. So you see the golden uh, brown pigment yes. or yellow pigment inside the macrophages. Why it's not that we have seen in intracellular accumulation. Why it's not in the young people? In the young people, you are strong. So it's when they become less and less. Like Wear and tear phenomena also. Different. Yeah. So uh, one of that could be lipofustin. So we use special strains actually to demonstrate yeah. one inside melanin. That this yellow brown pigment could be melanin, could be hemocytrin, could be something else like lipofuscin mm -hmm. okay so we differentiate with the special state okay so here recent hemorrhages and remote hemorrhages remote means remote control you have for yeah. your tv uh, so like that so here this is a no for view now we'll go for two okay what we are seeing is loss of and you have recent hemorrhages still. Okay. Still it is difficult to see and discover the hemocytic pigment. Okay. Yeah. Now we go for more. Now you see. <laughs> see here. What is this? These are all the macrophages which have been ingested. Hemocytic. Yeah. 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 So now the hemocytic pigment is there. So this indicates old hemorrhage. This all indicates old hemorrhage. Okay. So this is a slide for recent, showing foci of recent hemorrhage and, and remote hemorrhages. And old hemorrhages. Okay. How do you recognize this old hemorrhage? Because many of the macrophages are showing hemocytic pigment. Yes. 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 
Cystic infarct, this one, with hemorrhages. Multiple hemorrhages. Yeah, therefore, so you have fresh hemorrhage, recent hemorrhage, or fresh hemorrhage, and old hemorrhage. Lose if I roll some stats. Enough description. The old hemorrhages, no, you have to tell about the macrophages. Yeah. Old hemorrhage, how do you recognize the old hemorrhage? Presence of hemocytrin in the macrophages. That's how we recognize it as old hemorrhage. Oh, not the first? Yes, it is. So fragments of brain tissue showing reactive, this is about gliosis, reactive proliferation of astrocytes. What is the cell responsible for repair? Astrocytes. What happens with the morphology of astrocyte in the repair? Diagnostic. So this is what we would like to see. What happens to microglia at the site of hemorrhage? They become nodules. They will enlarge. Exactly. Enlarged. Enlarged. Okay. So this is what we will see here. So see here. Actually, we are. What we are seeing here is a panoramic view means the whole of the earth, like for example. And from here, if you are suspecting any abnormality here, we will try to do this image like this. This is actually the, how the pathologists, they come to a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. From the low power, they will come to, they will, they will suspect something, and they will see under the high power. So this is, this is the way they do, okay? So like that, you can, you can move this, and you can see. Doctor, what is the is used here? Hemato all are hematosome neosin. We are not to use any special stain. Okay. If there is any special stain, we will let you know. Okay? So this is all is gliosis. How we are identifying gliosis, now we will see. Still, this is low power. Okay? Yes. Now. Yeah. Okay, go back. Now. How we are recognizing this? How we are recognizing the, How do we differentiate astrocyte from oligodendrocyte? Oligodendrocytes. By dendrites. Yeah, exactly. So here, these are very small ones, and they don't have a clear halo. So these yes, are. This is all proliferation of astrocytes. Astrocytes, yes. And you also find some flat, some flat nuclei, which are microglia. Okay. When they become activated, these microglia yes. normally become. not seen. Microglia normally not seen. Yes. But in areas of hemorrhages or infections, or are, did, when a neuron is dying, dead neuron, yes, yes. they become rod like. Near okay. phase, yeah. So these are astrocytes. Ah, this, this, all these are astrocytes. These are all the bigger ones. This, this what you are seeing are astrocytes. Okay? And suppose if you are finding this elongated one, maybe like, microglia. Yes. Okay? Like elongated ones, yes. these are, like for example, these are microglia. Okay. Yes. Elongated ones, these are microglia. Okay. And this is uh, a oligodendrocyte that has halo? Yes, that has halo as oligodendrocyte. Yes, sure. Okay. The one which is having halo, halo is the oligodendrocyte. Yes. But so it's clear, microglia. No, no. microglia, they, they are very, very, means they're not, you don't see them normally. Of course. If you see them, they will, they will develop Abnormal. elongated so nuclei. Yes. Elongated so nuclei. Elongation, not clear here. Yeah, not clear. Not clear. Okay. Yes, Absolutely. I agree with that. So actually we use, nowadays we use all immunohistochemical stains. If there is a question, okay, this is whether microglia or not, just use a immunostain, it will, it will definitely say that this is microglia, this is astrocyte. Okay. So this is about gliosis. So we have talked about Hemorrhage, you can see. And gliosis. And the exam, uh, <laughs> high power will not come alone. High power picture. Of course. Like this. It should be combined with low power. Okay, yes. Low power and high power, yes. And let us see. We will put low power and high power. High power alone, it, it will not come. I, sh I think it should not come. Yes, it does. Screenshot, the proof. Screenshot, yes. Um, one should be with low and one should be with high. Yes. Should we take some screenshot to study? Yes. Yeah. Computer, they say that don't allow any anybody like even for also to make this uh, some virus infection may come this <laughs> I don't know. Yes. No. Faruk. Faruk. Tell me about it. So we can we can talk with Dr. Faruk and uh, let's uh, have. Uh, 
program to have the slides with you. Okay? Because we need to give you slides to study. Yes. Without giving you, how can you study? Yes. So we will talk about that. And now we will look for some grass images. Grass images are also. Okay? No sin finding, Ali. Yes. What you are finding here? What is there in the lumen? Here. The right one. Doctor, the left. Is it empty or also there is thrombosis? No, no, empty. Yes. Empty. Yes, only the right. Clear? <laughs> Microscopic section. <laughs> this is this is the vessel you have. Yes. This is the vessel and this is the thrombus. Yes. This is the thrombus. <laughs> Morphological changes. <laughs> First six hours you don't see grossly any change in appearance. 48 hours it becomes swollen. There will be cerebral edema. Okay. Two to ten days becomes gelatinous. You know gelatin? Yes. yes. Yeah, gelatinous and friable means you can take it out. You can yes. take it out. Okay. The, there is the previously ill-defined boundary becomes distinct. Means from dead and viable tissue there is clear-cut boundary. Between yes. two to ten days. Then ten days to three weeks it liquefies. So if I give you a gross picture and ask what is the probable age of the lesion, can you give? Yes, okay. no. but there is no time. Why? You can say maybe 10 days to 3 weeks. 10 days to 3 weeks. Victor, it's, good to, it's good if you said the change and we will, uh, yes. we will tell about the time. But that yeah. will be a little bit tough. No, no, I, I will come to it. I will come to that one minute. We will, we will sort this issue out one minute. Suppose if I have give this, okay. this picture to you, what is the age of this lesion? From three to three Forty eight hours, six days, uh, okay. ah, ten, days. That's good. ten days. So like that. Yes. Once I see this, I can ask the age of the lesion. Yeah, no, it's good. Okay. Ten to three weeks. So this is same. So what we are finding punctate hemorrhages, we are finding focally hemorrhagic lesion, mm -hmm. and there it has become the cystic infarct, old cystic infarct, old cystic infarct. Okay. The cortex, this is the cortex, the darker colored area, it has gone completely, okay? Yeah. Everything has gone, it forms a cystic infarct. <laughs> what is this, see? The portion has completely liquefied. This area, it is like this. This is the temporal, I'm standing like this. Yes, yes. This is the temporal, that is the frontal lobe, okay? okay? So here, from the middle cerebral artery, there is, there is obstruction, so there is loss of the brain sub substance. Mm -hmm. Loss of the brain substance. Again, cystic infarct. Okay. Okay. So gross depression. Grossly, depression on yes. the superior. You say this is a superior lateral yes, surface. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And if there is anything lost, you have read in GIT. Suppose there is sudden massive necrosis. What happens to the liver capsule? There is with the wrinkling of the liver capsule. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. So similarly here, wrinkling, wrinkling of the pair, like you have wrinkles in old age. Yes. yes. Like the because of loss of substance. Yeah. So here there is wrinkling of the pair. Yes. Hmm? Clear? Yes. Okay. Clear? Yes. Loser substance. Again, cystic in part. From the middle side. Okay. So this is what section this is? Uh, coronal section. So if you take a coronal, why I'm, I've shown you is next figures they belong to this coronal section. Mm. Yes. This is a coronal section like this. Yes. I like this here. Okay. So this is this artery, which is artery supplying here superior lateral surfaces. Yes. Middle surface. So following middle cerebral artery occlusion, there will be hemorrhage here. So, suffer thrombosis of middle cerebral artery with infarct of the left frontal lobe. So, which cerebral artery to cause left frontal lobe? Middle same middle. side, same side. Tracks will be different. I will ask another question on uh, another one. Here, the same, same side, you will say 
the same artery. Okay. Left frontal lobe, left cerebral artery. Okay. Tracks will be different. That I will show you later on. B is bilateral whatever artery. From there it is going. So these are the areas. What are these areas? Occipital. These are the proximal. Yeah. These are posterior areas. Okay? Yes. So this is a posterior cerebral artery. And this is also similarly to the <coughs> previous picture which, where we have seen. In the territory of the middle cell, superior lateral surface again. This is superior lateral surface. Okay. So one is posterior and two are superior lateral. <coughs> now, this is the question here. For example, autopsy of the brain of brain stroke. from a patient who suffered stroke involving patient's left arm and left and left arm and leg, one year before his death. Identify the plane of section, whether it's sagittal, coronal, coronal. or transverse. So this is coronal. coronal. Yes. Comment on which side of the brain is affected, right. as Le shown right. by the area surrounded by yellow border. Right. Left right. 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 So left and it is having left arm and left leg, so it should be right. Right. Okay. Clear? Right. Right. right side, yeah. right side. Right side. Left one side. What, what more is there? What where you are finding this is? Below is temporal lobe. Okay. Superior temporal gyrus on the lateral frontal lobe. This is this all is the frontal lobe. This all is the frontal lobe. Okay. Uh -huh. If you are taking a section here. Why is anterior? If you are taking a section here, this this is the frontal lobe. Okay. Right side. So that will be the frontal lobe. Below will be the temporal lobe, temporal gyrus. Doctor, the region in the left hemisphere. See, if here in the picture, in the picture, you don't see photograph and right. You correlate with patient signs and symptoms. If it is involving left arm and left leg, then this impact should be on the right side. Normally, we, on the figure we say this is the left. And the right will be the. On the figure, when we are saying, this, usually we say this is the left. Yes. But here we are correlated with history. Okay. So when you correlate with history, it becomes the right. I can keep it like this, or I can keep the other part. Or, or right, right. Instead huh? of left. <laughs> it's easy. <to laughs> okay. Clear? Yeah. Is this clear to you? Yes. It is just for understanding. Huh? Yeah. Important multiple choice question. Major cerebral artery. Huh? <laughs> Spasma also happens following subarachnoid hemorrhage. Okay, so infarcts can be done hemorrhagic, and the pedicle hemorrhage is what we have seen. Pedicle means very small, small. Yes, yes. What period are you have read? Just like we did. So, parallel ischemic hemorrhagic infarction. Parallel means same, same things. Like you don't see gross changes. After some time, you see gross changes. Okay, then the boundary becomes distinct, then it becomes liquefied. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. that is the cystic infarct. But only the thing is that here in hemorrhagic there is blood extravasation. Only the additional thing. Okay. Additional thing is only blood extravasation. What we see microscopically is infarcts. If there is infarct, what we are seeing? We have macrophages, we have cystic spaces. The so hemorrhages they are taken up by the macrophage, loss of neuronal substance. And for the repair, astrocytes are coming, yes. and they start becoming large. Yes. Do not repair. Yes, yes. Okay, for scoliosis. Yes. Okay. Once, initially they enlarge. Later, when they have deposited glia much, then this enlargement will become again small. You are doing exercise, it becomes big. When you stop doing, it becomes small. Similar astrocytes. When they have to deposit the glia. The neural, the supporting tissue, yes. it becomes bigger astrocyte. Yes. Then when it does it function, it keeps quiet again. It becomes back to the normal size. Okay. This is what we see even in, even during healing. Vascularity initially increases. The scar is yeah. red. Yes. Cool. Later the vascularity disappears mm -hmm. because that much vascularity is not needed now. It has done the, the job of fibrosis. Yes, right. So like that, it recedes again. It comes back to normal again. Okay. Yeah. The cavity is limited by, you say, gliosis. <coughs> clear? Yeah. Yes, clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Acute hemorrhage. 
Characterized by extravagance. We said already said extra extravagation of blood. This is the cube. <laughs> when there is extravagation of blood, the adjacent tissue is compressed. It is soft, so it is compressed. This is under pressure. Okay. Yes. Usually the arterial one. Okay. Old hemorrhages, they show area of cavitary destruction. We have already seen that. Okay. Which Why is brownish discoloration? Because the macrophage, yeah, they are ingesting the pigment. Okay. So that's why they are brownish. Okay. So here what happens? Central core of clotted blood surrounded by rim of brain tissue showing anoxic neuronal changes and glial changes and edema. So wherever there is injury, yes. you will have red neurons and there will be repair process for the glia. So glial changes, SSI, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, you see all that. And you find edema as well. Uh, red neurons are limited only for 12 hours. Yeah. What uh, uh, It dies later on. It is acute neural injury. But within 12 hours, you see, afterwards, no. So we can use it as an indicator for uh, the acute injury. Acute injury. In chronic, we don't see it. There will be loss, but we don't see. In sedum we don't see. Victor, how much it will take the time to convert from acute to old hemorrhage? Acute, uh, there is nothing like that. I will at least not come out. I don't know about it. Okay. So what is happening here? Initially, wherever there is injury, you will have edema. You know, yes. increased vascular permeability, inflammation, histamine. Okay. So this edema will resolve later on. Histamine will goes off. Shortly mediator. So now the macrophages they end up the lipid, they end up hemosynthetic pigment, and there is proliferation of astrocytes. See, if there is hemorrhage here, it is compressing the surrounding tissue in the ventricles. Okay. This this all are the ventricles. This one. Mm -hmm. One side, this one, another side. Yes. So the hemorrhage has occurred. Okay. Example of cerebral hemorrhage because of hypertension. Cerebellar, cut section of cerebellum. Okay. And we are seeing hemorrhage. Okay. Hypertension is the most common cause. Yes. Every American night hypertension, uncontrolled hypertension. Forms. Yes. Suppose if I ask you, what are the clinical features? Uh, bone to hemorrhage. Point. Big point. Excellent. Right. One. Headache. Headache, uh, severe headache, okay. Hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis, right? Hyperhidrosis. 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 Exactly right. So this other I can ask you the some clinical. Huh? Hyperhidrosis. Vigility you are talking about? Yes, yes. D cerebrate. D cerebrate. D cerebrate rigidity. Exactly. D cerebrate rigidity. So here is secular sac like. Shanta. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Savarakna. Savarakna. This will give Savarakna hemorrhage is a complication. Complication, what happens if there is Savarakna hemorrhage? Headache. That is a clinical presentation. Exclusion. And a clinical villi. Yes. So hydrocephalus and meninges fibrosis. Exactly. Second is a vessel or what? Which one? Yeah, circle of This is the circle of villus. The secular aneurysm, they happen in the circle of villus. Okay. No, but they are most common location. Uh, they are dissected out and this is a microscopic. Okay? Where there is defect in the, probably the intima, the meaning. The meaning of sac. Okay. Meaning of sac. Meaning of sac. Shanta. Shanta. Shak means shanta. Bat. Secular and secular police. Yeah. And secular police. And secular police. So here. So. What is the morphology? Unruptured is having a thin wall outpouching of artery. Okay, this is outpouching. Outpouching means it is forming a pouch. Yes, 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 yes. A back, something like that. Okay. So here, beyond the neck of the aneurysm, the muscular wall and intimal elastic lamina are absent, such that the aneurysm sac is lined only by thick and intima. This is only the thick and intima. What we are saying. This is the neck here, and this is the neck. For example, this is the neck. Okay. And this all area, it is lined only by one, Intensive. thick intima. So two layers are absent. Media and adventitia are absent. Okay. Only the thick hyalinized intima is present. Okay. Rupture in the subarachnoid space are present. Okay. So what more? We have some other aneurysms as well. For example, atherosclerotic, most common cause of Abdominal aortic aneurysm is uh, most common cause of 
No. Most common cause of abdominal or aortic aneurysm is atherosclerosis. Hypertension. 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 So that is atherosclerosis. Because of atherosclerosis, there is, there is hypertension and that will cause aneurysm. Mycotic, traumatic, and dissecting. Dissecting also happens in the aorta. Okay? The last three types. One, two, and three. They are often found in the anterior circulation. Whereas atherosclerotic, they are more, they're common, commonly involved in the basilar artery. Atherosclerotic, they are commonly found in the basilar artery. Okay. Okay. So what are the complications? They manifest with cerebral infarction due to vascular occlusion. Non-secular aneurysms mean other than secular aneurysm is subarachnoid aneurysm. Non-secular usually with cerebral infarction. The artery ruptures and you will have infarction. So this is the same thing, global ischemia. What we are seeing 12 to 24 hours, you see red neurons, microvacuoles, eosinophilia everywhere, okay, letter pignosis and that, that goes on. 24 hours to two weeks, you see necrosis, macrophages will come, vascular proliferation, whatever you see in the healing process, normal healing process, huh? by primary or secondary touch. After two weeks, removal of now necrotic tissue, and uneven destruction of the neocortex. So this is pseudo laminar necrosis. Uneven destruction. Because some neurons are more susceptible to ischemia, some are not. That's why pseudo laminar necrosis. This is the lighter area. This corresponds to cerebral edema. More of water is there, so the stain becomes less. There is more of water. So if you have any stain, where you are putting more water, it becomes lighter in color. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is what is edema. This is what is edema. Okay. These pain areas, they are because of edema. Cerebral edema. Mm -hmm. This is again, recollect your principle of disease law. So if you have injury anywhere, there is margination and there is extravasation of the neutrophils. This is what we are seeing. Okay. The other changes like red neurons and all will be difficult at this manipulation. Only you have to see that the neutrophils are coming out of the vessels. By neutrophils being in the of the lesion where vascular supply has remained intact. Okay. After this, macrophages will come. After neutrophils, macrophages will come. They start to leave the cell debris. So this is liquefactive necrosis. Okay. Case of cerebral infarction, so the day is about 10 days, not early, so macrophages are cleaning up the debris. Okay. <laughs> what is this ultimate is, is the loss of the brain substance. Loss of brain substance. Loss of brain substance. This is what, this is arteriovenous malformation. Arteriovenous malformation. Tangled mass of vessels. Victor, what is the cause of this position? Congenital How many pictures? Very good. Who is that? Very good. Inshallah, we will bring it down later. So, a lot of more about that. So, this is another one. See, so the is finished. The is finished because the is finished.